What brings you to my door again? Well, I, I hear you're trying to get a new class together for a term of creative writing. Yes, Peter. It's a new term. Time for a new start. I thought it would be a shame to let a natural talent such as mine go to waste. So I thought I'd cast my bread upon the water. To be honest, Peter, I was hoping for better students than you. But I suppose you are just about better than nothing. Oh, my mother told me it was rude to point. Thank you very much for making me feel so welcome, Archie. Stop calling me Archie, you uncouth pleb. You know what your problem is, Peter. You are sloppy, your work is sloppy, and you make my class sloppy. You want to create something with very little effort. Yes, that's right, you've got it. I want to be able to write something just like that, without any thought and effort. But that's not going to happen, is it, Peter? Writing isn't some kind of magic trick where you can pull an essay out of the hat just before the deadline. To create something good takes time, sweat, and even tears. But Archie... Don't call me Archie. I like the idea of channeling work from another dimension. What dimension is that, Peter? You want to pull something out of the ether? Could be. Really, Archibald, I wish I had not come back to you in your creative writing class. What I really want to do is draw words from the depths of my essential nature and from the experience of my many years. My brain going into autopilot and synthesising the information into a stream of consciousness which flows down my arm onto the page. And I become the next Henry Chaucer or William Shakespeare. And people come from far and wide to buy my works and they asked me to sign first editions of my books. And Peter, you want to do all that with very little effort? Yes, Archibald. Can you fix it for me? Based on your previous work, Peter, I think it may take some time. But here's a list of my fees. Wow. Hmm. I think I might need some time to think about this. I'll be in touch, Archibald.